from Cauldron Films, a label that I am really starting to love, comes Shanghai Joe, or the Italian title, uh, Il Mio Nome Shanghai Joe. I absolutely love this film. Now, I love spaghetti westerns, but from the opening scene, you get something here that is most definitely playing within the world of the spaghetti western, sticking to the tropes, but somehow feels fresh and invigorating. And you get a wonderful lead performance, a main character of a Chinese immigrant who's come to America and everyone just treats very poorly, shall we say. This movie does not um, hold back on the racial slurs. Hey, you yellow dog, I got dirty shoes and I expect you to clean them. But you kind of have everybody who's dropping these racial slurs, getting their ass kicked at some point by our titular hero. Uh, as he journeys through the West, we just see him almost like vignettes, just starting to bump into people, kicking their ass, being very cool, and just growing as a character. I loved him. I loved spending time with him. I was basically waiting on him, kicking these people's asses, uh, until he gets to the kind of bulk of the story. <laughs> Where we find someone who has these Mexican slaves and is really brutalising them and torturing them and Joe decides to try and help out. Of course the bad guy takes umbrage to this and hires various assassins to come and get Joe. It's a simple plot, they pick an assassin, he comes to get Joe, Joe kicks their ass and moves on to the next one. Even though it has this pattern, this familiarity, this rinse and repeat attitude to the story, it never becomes dull or boring. It's always exciting, it's always thrilling, it's action packed and more importantly than anything, incredibly fun. <laughs> I love some of the supporting actors that turn up here. Because you have these people playing um, these assassins, these bounty hunters who turn up every now and again, they get to come in, be larger than life, and then disappear after five minutes. And it's just a great addition to the story. Until we get to Klaus Kinski who turns up, um, who is just phenomenal. When you get a great actor in something like this, there's a real kind of malice to the character. You feel like he is incredibly dangerous and if anybody was going to take down Shanghai Joe, it would be Klaus Kinski in this one because he is just such a reprehensible, awful character. <sighs> Give me the chills just watching him. I'm glad I bumped into you. Yeah, why? Because you're going to tell me where that Chinaman's got to. The action in Shanghai Joe is silly at times but kind of endearing at the same time the way he um, jumps through the air the way they sometimes you can see the wires from the wire foo uh, the way they kind of reverse the film some points to show something cool happening um, it, it all led me down a path of just warm comfort enjoying everything i was seeing you know this is a different kind of character and a different kind of world for a spaghetti western and it made me all the more happy to sit down and just watch this one. I utterly loved Shanghai Joe. <laughs> the main character um, who was just phenomenal, his constant um, battles with seemingly everybody in the film was just enjoyable and the way he just kicks ass was highly entertaining. Shanghai Joe was an absolute masterpiece of a film for me. It's one of those ones where I wasn't expecting much but it just blew me away. I, I, I loved the characters, I hated the bad guys, I loved the photography, I loved the little vignette starters where something silly would happen like somebody would challenge him to do some things to win a horse, expecting him to fail miserably 
is Shanghai Joe. This guy is almost superhuman, it seems like, in the film. <laughs> and he achieved everything with aplomb. What's he up to? Ha! Did you see that? Can't rave highly enough about how fantastic this movie is. It looks great, it's got some great actors in it, it's got several fantastic action set pieces, and there's one movie that I strongly suggest you do not sleep on. If you get a chance, pick up Shanghai Joe. If you're a Spaghetti Western fan, you need to get this immediately. It's one of the best ones I've seen. It's one that I'm going to watch a lot. It's one I'm going to sit down with other people and watch whenever they're over because it's a crowd pleaser. It's incredibly fun. And I just loved it. I would love to know your thoughts on Shanghai Joe, whether you loved it, hated it, whatever. Let me know in the comment box below. There is more content up here where you can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to the Patreon, the membership program, manvfilm.com. All ways in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.